2018, Polaris has unleashed an all new edition in their XP Turbo lineup. And it's called the Dynamics Edition. Now it's got a great graphics package here. It's got this metal flake paint job that I really love. It's also got a red front grille and some smoked headlights. But the two things that really make this something special are the Ride Command System and the Ride Dynamics Active Suspension Technology. So let's walk through Ride Dynamics here. Traditionally, you would use a compression clicker adjuster. That's a rotary dial that has a soft setting as in number one position, and then a hard setting that's traditionally around 20 or 22. So you've got a wide range of adjustment built into that. Well, Ride Dynamics includes that same ride range of adjustment, except instead of having to get out of your car to adjust it, it's all adjusted electronically. Now the system is controlled via a central brain, essentially, that will sense different positioning um, of the car itself. So whether you're braking hard, whether you're accelerating hard, whether you're in the air, um, all sorts of different inputs to where it'll take all of that in and then adjust the suspension accordingly. Now, also in addition to that electronic automatic adjustment, you, there's a three-way switch on the dash that you can select either a comfort mode, a sport mode, or a firm mode. Now that allows you to kind of tailor the suspension and then based off of your selection, the computer tailors the suspension um, to the type of terrain as well. So let's use these rocks as an analogy here. We've got our front two tires, we've got our rear two tires, and say we're braking hard into a corner. Now what will happen is the car will sense that not only that you're braking, but also that the front has taken a little bit of a dive and it will increase the compression on these front two shocks. And what it'll do is it'll keep the car more level going into the corner. Now, when you're going through the corner, it will sense that and it will increase the compression. So you're going around a left-hand turn. It will increase the compression on the right two shocks, on your outside shocks, so that the car will stay more level through the corner. And basically that allows you to transition through the corner faster and uh, just feel better. It won't feel like it's tipping on the outside or anything like that. It's more controlled cornering. Now, a couple other uh, scenarios here are, say you take off fast from a dead start, the computer will sense that uh, not only that your throttle position is, you're obviously hard on the throttle and that the car is squatting in the back, it will increase the compression in the rear two shocks so that the car doesn't lean so much in the back. Now the other one that I find really interesting is when you're jumping through the air. Um, the car will actually sense that all the shocks have completely um, gone th through the travel essentially and uh, when it lands it will increase the compression all the way up to, uh, this one says full 10, um, so it'll, it's basically full hard on the compression, all the shocks so that you won't uh, bottom out as you're going down the hill or um, as you're landing. In theory, this ride dynamic system is awesome because it adjusts on the fly. Now in practice, it truly does make the experience so much more intuitive because of that on-the-fly adjustment you're able to throw it in the corners and the car stays so flat because it increases the compression on that outside and then when you're going through the whoops it knows that you need some extra compression to be able to stand up on top Now again, we throw it into the corner. It's so fast to adjust that it automatically increased my compression right there. I'm in sport mode right now. I'm feeling that suspension on the outside, two shocks, stiffen up for me. So even in these bank corners, it feels like it just planted. It wants to go. I love it. Now I'm in sport mode right now. That's what I really enjoy, that mode, because it offers a real medium ground in between the firm and the comfort setting. 
comfort setting does a good job at allowing you to have a plush ride, but it doesn't have very good compliance when you hit the rough stuff. Now, the great part about the system is that you can switch from comfort to sport with just the flick of a switch. Let's go into how Ride Dynamics is integrated with the Ride Command system. So Ride Command allows you to have a bunch of standard settings, including um, your maps, your diagnostics, your pe phone pairing, so it all integrates with that, your music, everything like that. But the neatest part of this whole system is how you can actually see the Dynamics Active Suspension technology working from inside the car. So say you're braking, right? And you go uh, heavy into a corner and all of a sudden you slam on your brakes. You can actually see how the compression on the front two shocks stiffens up to nine. And on the screen, it has a, a setting of zero to 10 for compression. Just like if I was to gas it really hard, you can see that the back two shocks increase to eight. Or say I turn left, Look at that, those outside two corners, the right side increases the, the compression so that the car corners flatter. Same thing if I turn to the right. So this is the kind of thing that when you're riding, you can actually see the car work from inside, inside of it, um, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. The beauty of all of this in a turbo platform is you still have all that 168 horsepower just ready to rev it up. Polaris still has one of the best clutching systems out there. The power just delivers right to the ground. It's a beautiful thing. And that power, huh, that power, it is oh so addicting. There is nothing like a Polaris Razor. XP Turbo Power. Man, this is fun. I could do this all day. Two additional things that are noteworthy on this Ride Dynamic system is that if you slam on the brakes really, really hard, it makes the front two shocks compression go all the way to 10 for a certain amount of time. Just helps the car not dive so bad um, in one of those kind of emergency situations. The other thing is when you're airborne, it senses the fact that you are in the air and it stiffens all four shocks compression all the way to the highest setting at 10. So that when you land, it doesn't bottom out or it resists it as much as possible. Now you'll notice that when I'm going through the loops, these cars are inherently oversprung from the factory. So it still does buck in the back end, no matter which setting you have it on. So that's kind of a gripe I have with the car. So I just wish they would spring them a little bit better from the factory. In all reality, the big question about this Dynamics car is, who is it for? And also, is it worth it? Because it does have a premium cost over the XP Turbo Fox Edition. I think for somebody who has to have it all, it's absolutely worth it. Personally, I really enjoy how the Ride Command system is included on this model and also how it is flawlessly integrated with the Ride Dynamics system. Now, you know, just being able to see it on a screen is not worth the cost at all. But being able to flip a switch and change the entire suspension dynamics of the car, I like that. And the fact that you can really feel it is absolutely amazing. I can go from comfort to firm with a flick of a switch and feel the car working different. If you like the idea of Razor Dynamics and the machine's ability to adjust itself based upon the terrain and what the car is doing. Plus, you like the ability to adjust the suspension to different settings from the cab on the fly with the switch. And then you throw in 168 horsepower that puts a smile on your face every time you mash the throttle. Then you will really like the 2018 Razor XP Turbo Dynamics Edition.
Thank you so much for watching.